Grandfather's Journey by Ellen Fay. My grandfather was a young man when he left his home in Japan and went to see the world. He wore European clothes for the first time, began his journey on a steamship. The Pacific Ocean astonished him. For three weeks he did not see land. When land finally appeared, it was the New World. He explored North America by train and riverboat, and often walked for days on end. Deserts with rocks like enormous sculptures amazed him. The endless farm fields reminded him of the ocean he had crossed. Huge cities with factories and tall buildings bewildered him and yet excited him. He marveled at the towering mountains and the rivers as clear as the sky. He met many people along the way. He shook hands with black men and white men and yellow men and red men. The more he traveled, the more he longed to see new places and never thought of returning home. Of all the places he visited, he liked California best. He loved the strong sunlight there, the Sierra Mountains, and the lonely sea coast. After a time, he returned to his village to marry his childhood sweetheart, and he brought his new bride to the new country. They made their home in San Francisco Bay and had a baby girl. As his daughter grew, my grandfather began to think about his own childhood. He thought about his old friends. He remembered the mountains, the rivers of his home. He surrounded himself with songbirds, but he could not forget. Finally, when his daughter was nearly grown, he could wait no more. He took his family and returned to his homeland. Once again, he saw the mountains and the rivers of his childhood. They were just as he remembered them. Once again, he exchanged stories and laughter with his old friends. The village was not a place from, for a daughter from San Francisco. So my grandfather bought a house in a large city nearby. There the young woman fell in love, married, and sometimes later I was born. When I was a small boy, my favorite weekend was the visit to my grandfather's house. He told me many stories about California. He raised wobblers and silver eyes, but he could not forget the mountains and the rivers of California, so he planned a trip. But the war began, bombs fell from the sky and shattered our lives like leaves in a storm. When the war ended, there was nothing left of the city and of the house where my grandparents had lived. So we returned to the village where they had been children, but my grandfather never kept another songbird. The last time I saw him, my grandfather said he longed to see California one more time. He never did. And when I was nearly grown, I left home and went to California for myself. So did this young man go back to Japan? Did he stay in California? Has he figured out? why his grandfather loved Japan as much and was torn between the two places. To find out the exciting answer, check out the book, Grandfather's Journey.